Hey kids, Jacques Tassif 3D here, bringing you episode two of my Diamond in the Rough series with the FAL. On this, and this time around, on the map Turbine. Uh, and you can see I jumped right into the action. I'm gonna start trying to edit these down to just show you most of the gameplay. I go 22 and four in this, get two VSATs, uh, running nothing but support. Uh, with, as you saw earlier, uh, when I loaded, did, put the loadout in, no perks, no attachments. A rocket launcher, two EMPs, and two bouncing Bettys. Um, I find that running, the, I'm finding lately as running the bouncing Bettys uh, with the guys I typically play with who triple cap come in really handy. Um, specifically by the time I leave A, we're almost always getting C, spawns flip, they're back on A, get a couple kills, get a little closer to your kill streaks. I want to give a quick shout out though to Patrick, aka Patton77, on YouTube for putting together that sick, uh, sick little new intro I have that I'll be using quite a bit. And I don't know, it's pretty, pretty badass, and it's, uh, it's awesome, Patrick. Thank you so much for hooking me up with that. Um, hopefully, I can get you to do some, a few more, because they're just absolutely sick. And you're dead too. <laughs> so. About this map real fast, this is one of those maps that you know when you're playing with a lot of people you jump into, everybody wants to skip. But it's also one of those maps that when you're going for your gold, it's a good map to play. Now check the hold on, check this out real fast. All three I'm gonna get you all, I'm gonna get you all, I'm gonna get nothing but assist because Hop just killed everybody. Good job, Hop. I'm not even sure what happened there. <laughs> It's one of those maps that are great for long shots, which are one of the things when you're using an assault rifle that you end up having to get at some point. As a matter of fact, to me, it's the biggest bitch as far as getting the gold. Uh, everything else, even running this, no person, no attachments to me is significantly easier than having to get long shots because what you typically have to do is find points on the map where you can even score a long shot. And, I, and I've come to find there are spots almost every one of the maps that you can get at that you can score these long shots. But Turbine in particular happens to be one that it's a lot easier to get them if people obviously are in the right place. Uh, there are other maps personally I like better for that, that people funnel into a little bit more and it's a little easier to get them than this map. Uh, but for the most part though, this map offers a long line of sights. I just tend not to go for long shots till after I've done my no perks, no attachments. Because I gate up, I put my target finder back on. That's right, I said it. Target finder, and for somebody like Justin, my noob, 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 noob gun. Because for me personally, I use it as the same way I used Marksman in Modern Warfare 3. I don't sit in camp. And as you can see here, I mean, I'm running around with a foul with no perks and no attachments, trying to use it somewhat like a uh, an assault rifle. Because that's just, that's my game style, and that's how I've come to play this game. And I found it to be actually... Uh, pretty much a beast I, I love the iron sights on it and i can spam the trigger pretty fast which is pretty key and if you're spamming it fast enough you can see i'm getting very very little recoil on this gun and it's a two-shot kill now you'll see though some people depending on where i hit them it seems like it takes more than that but other than, but for the most part two-shot kills you're putting them down it's funny, I'm already on to, uh, since the last time I posted this, I'm already on to the SMR, which is a number, another semi-automatic rifle that I like as well. I don't know if I like it as much as this, but uh, I'm on the same point of no perks, no attachments. Um, and to me, they feel pretty similar. I'm sure somebody uh, a lot more educated than myself on these weapons could give you a rundown of the actual specs and say, well, that fails better than the SMR. To me, they feel just about the same now that I'm running them the same way with no perks and no attachments. I'll say the only downside, and this goes for any gun, and this goes for anybody listening to this, um, trying to up their games, up their KDs, up their score per minutes, is I'm completely dependent on the majority of my game on Ghost and Silencer. I hate being on the minimap. And, you know, these guns just... In particular, you'll see here in a second what I'm talking about. You know, they're so loud, and anytime I'm, I, I pretty much when I'm not running ghosts, I think I'm on the mini map. And this gun in particular, when I fire, like you'll see here in a second, I'm gonna move off to the right, I'm gonna peg somebody. Now I show up on their map instantly. I'm bright red, I kill these, I'm definitely red. Look, I've fired two guys, 
throw the V set up, and there's a guy here not doing anything. Don't be that guy. The instant I showed up red, specifically behind him, specifically that guy who's camping in the back not doing anything, his eyes should have been mostly up on his mini-map, not on his point back at A. Had he known that, he probably would have turned around, could have switched to a pistol or something else, and just wrecked me. But he didn't. And that's something I wanted to point out in this video in particular for you guys to look for. Use your minimap. And don't use the minimap just for enemies. I was having a conversation with some guys last night about this. I will use it for knowing where my team is. And I find that just as useful. And I don't need a UAV up to know where my team's at. As I do having UAV up or a V set up to see the enemy. So just just try to keep that in mind when you're playing the game because you can use that mini map to figure out the positions of your team and figure out maybe where the enemy is based on where your team's at. And that's crucial. Not as much on Turbine as it is on, say, Slums, and I'm going to try to put up a video talking about that specifically. But I figure on this video, uh, I'd show you where I was at. I love 47. I believe I have Prestige since this video is up. It show you where I was at on my camos uh, at the time on this this FAL. Uh, down to a couple long shots, 123 kills. So that's going to be for perks and attachments. It's going to be that 123, which I always recommend do both. And yeah, try to bring you one or two more of these with the FAL. And with that, kids. That's